What's going on, YouTube? It is Team Jack, and I gotta say to all my wonderful, beautiful face on the world. This is just miss you, miss you, love you, love you. Today we got the DTV guy, aka Chrono Dave. He's gonna do the tech profile, his updated Bloody Eye Prime V spec, and let's go. What's up, guys? Um, this is my last tech profile ever. Cause, you know, after the new format kicks in, I'm gonna die, cause gears aren't a thing, and Chrono Dave cannot exist without Gear Chronicle. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start off with uh, this best of one deck that I build because I love best of one matches. So um, first up, we're gonna start with our starter. We're gonna start with one Chrono Dran Z um, because <laughs> why not? Let's get a teeter. <laughs> why don't we teeter through our deck and find things that we want? Um, so its ability is when you um, four rider and uh, when you ride a grade two or greater uh, when it's on rearguard circle. Non GB, bind the top, uh, bind this, check the top five cards of your deck, and search for a grade one or grade three. It's good for one of two things. You get any of your grade ones, which is amazing, and you get any grade three if you're missing a grade three. His second ability is bind zone, uh, generate quick one, drop a card from your hand, bounce them back. So basically, if you're going into like heritage turns, this is really plus because you keep on digging through your deck. So honestly, it's a very strong card because we, we could stop doing with Kagero, retiring our starters. I miss that. I enjoy that, not being my having my tar starter retired. Ugh, I'm so good. Explain the reason you just don't practice. Right. Then I'm killing it. Yeah, yeah. always practice, guys. Always practice. We're gonna go into our grade threes because you know I I do that for some reason. Are right, we gonna play four Chrono Jet Dragon Z? Don't worry, guys. I have a fourth one, a fourth SP on its way. Uh, Henry just didn't bring it today. Had a bad weekend. Yeah. Bad um. So. Honest to God, this is a great card. Um, there's a great guard right now in this meta because the thing is you get to control your opponent's board and build your own. His ability is continuous. Um, you may pay the cost if um, by and it gains the red text ability by binding in grade three zodiac time beast and you get to stride for free or stride. <clears throat> so not minusing a card from your hand to stride is freaking phenomenal. It's amazing. And it honestly makes like using your star, uh, your Stratasis, your Pulse of Draco Kid much more plus. His second ability is <coughs> Auto Vanguard Soul Boss One when your G unit strides. Any G unit, not just Gear Dragons or um, Zodiac Time Beast. Soul Boss One, choose one of your opponent's rear guards or one of your rear guards sent to the bottom of the deck and search for one Zodiac Time Beast one grade higher. So you can either send back an opponent, uh, you search for up to one card. So you get to um, send back one of your opponent's rear guards and then you could gain your own. Or you can send back one of your own rear guards so you don't check out for the turn. Like, there's a lot of versatility within this card. I do miss Jet G. However, in the format right now, it's, this format is demanding more so of uh, Jet Z. And it's honestly just a good card just because you don't have to minus yourself in order to call cards. <laughs> Next, you're gonna go into one uh, Pulsar Replenish, Replenish Quaddle. It's okay. It's, it's still a good way to counter charge. This ability is when it's placed on rear guard circle from the deck, generate strike make one. Uh, this unit gets plus three, and if I have zero face up counter blast, I get to unflip one. So you can honestly play with that too, because the deck does exhume a lot more counter blast because you are more aggressive. But you can also refine it in more, much more versatile ways. Um, I honestly like this card because it's just a general 14k attacker, and your opponents don't like 14k attackers or anything that can round up to a magic number with a 7k booster. <laughs> One Pulsar Proceed Pro Sheep. Uh, Axe skill, non GB, counter boss one, bind this card and bind a card from your drop zone, and then you draw a card. This card is very iffy. I've been, I used it twice, however, both times I used it were very beneficial. The reasons I run it is because our new G guard um, buy, benefits from having more cards in your bind zone. And if you use Dran Z and you have a card in your drop zone, you're already at set, th uh, set three. So it's much easier in order to get your uh, to get your five when if you use the guild trigger, which I'll go into detail later. And also, it's just a draw card, so it's not that it's really good. And also, exhuming more counter blast in order to use your quaddle, so not bad at all. Final grade three is one pulsar obstinacy uh, obstinacy ox. This is the flexible one. For his ability is continuous during your turn. This unit gets plus one for every zodiac uh, for every face of gene in your G zone. Um, and his second ability is act once per turn, count plus one, the senior gets plus one for every face-up card in your G-Zone. So basically, if you have four face-up, this is a four, this is a 15 k attacker. Um, the reasons I'm very iffy about it, because now you aren't so really dependent on how many cards in your G-Zone, because more details about it later. 
Um, you can honestly play another quad all over it, or you can play a uh, Fang G. Uh, onto our grade twos, we play one new car, Pulsar Tamer Legigi. Um, his skill is um, once per turn, generate pick one. When your Zodiac Time Beast is placed on Rare Guard Circle, um, other from hand, this unit gets plus 10. This is pretty good for the sole fact of the matter is that you don't need to see it, but if you do see it, it's pretty essential. So it's a 19k attacker, and if you have two faces with Pegasus, it's a 21k attacker. So honest to god, having this thing just being a big beater in this deck that only hits like very, very low magic, uh, magic numbers, it's just phenomenal. It's an amazing card. Next, you go into two Pulsar Spearhead Unicorn. Um, its ability is continuous. Generous Brick 1, the scene, if you have a current Vanguard, the unit gets permanent, permanent plus 2 and auto Cannon Boss 1. Uh, this unit, uh, once the unit attacks the Vanguard, Cannon Boss 1, check top X for the amount of, uh, amount of Zodiac Time Beast on your board, including himself, and check that many, and you get to call any Zodiac Time Beast besides, himself, besides a copy of himself. So it's a lot of rush plays. You can honestly play um, a third copy by taking out Legigi, but honestly, God, this is just, I think this is just a phenomenal card. It's just an 11, permanent 11k and just honestly just rushes down. <laughs> then you go into two Chrono Spin Serpents. Uh, reason being is because it's a 10k beater and it's Zodiac Time Beast. Pluses. And honestly, God, being on a 10k is very good. And in this deck, you play a lot of 10k. So, yeah. <laughs> Next, you play four. Pulsar Metal Party Dragon. More 10Ks. First of all, fact of the matter is, it's to counter your opponent's rush or to make your opponent commit more cards on the board. You're not really scared about that. This ability is counter, uh, continuous, Vanguard Brigard. Uh, if you don't have a face of car, a bind, card in your bind zone, this unit, uh, but this unit cannot attack. That's fine because guess what? Instant proc. Then the second ability is Generation Break 1, uh, auto, counter boss 1. At the end of battle, that is unit attack. Uh, Counter Boss 1, bind this card, and if this was, unit was boosted, call up to 1 grade 1 and one grade th and up to 1 grade 3 from your bind zone, and call them to rear guard in the same column. So, honest to god, swing vanguard, oh I only have a grade 1 in my bind zone, cool, I'll call that grade 1, use, uh, use unicorn, attack in, um, spirit call another card, okay cool, I have a full set column, or call grade 3, unicorn, call another one, a call grade one or less, full set combo attack, or if you have both, one and three, God tier plays, you a whole new attacking column that probably swings for uh, 16 plus, amazing, good plays are good plays. Then our final grade twos are three Pulsar Cruising Dragon. Hey guys, it's a staple, it's a filter draw, it's um, attack, um, it's auto, generative one, when the unit attacks the Vanguard, if you're a current Vanguard, Cannon Boss 1, this unit gets plus 2, and well, this automatically gets plus 2, and then it gets the red text Cannon Boss 1, check top 3, switch for Zodiac Time Beast, add it to your hand. Right. Filter draws, so good. Alright, now we're gonna go into our grade 1s. Alright, I'm gonna say this the grade 1 is very, grade 1 space is very flexible, I'll tell you which ones can be replaced for which. 2, Pulsar Tamer Hegel. Uh, his ability is continuous. Uh, if you have a grade four Vanguard, uh, grade four Vanguard, this unit gets X, rear guard circle, soul boss one, put this unit at the bottom of the deck. Um, oh, I gotta reread again. Choose a card from your draw zone and put it at the bottom of the deck and this unit count, and then you counter one. So you get to put cards back and you unflip. It's amazing. And the second ability is auto, uh, game strike one. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle, uh, soul charge one. So if you're lacking soul, because of certain cards, <laughs> um, you could soul charge one. And it, honestly, God, being able to send back two cards, it's just a break even. Um, you can play this at one. I prefer playing it two because I want to get the counter charge. It's very important to me. So then you next play New Boy. Toy Agu, I mean, uh, Pulsar uh, Mary Block Dragon. Reason being is because he's, his card's amazing. It's a new manage for the deck and honest to god and you can fetch it with and you can fetch it with this so its ability is when this unit boosts um you get plus two for every other uh, every other zodiac time beast on your board so at max is a 17k booster if not as a 13k booster if not as a 9k booster 
No matter what, all these numbers are really nice for any of your rear guards. And then at the end of the battle, bind itself. Okay, doesn't matter, because you could fetch it with this beautiful boy. And then his second ability is continuous. Deck and drop zone. If you have a Vanguard with grade three or greater, this unit gets grade plus two. So I get to tuck my opponent's grade two. I get to tuck my opponent's grade two and call this from his ability. Oh man, that's pretty freaking good. I might need a booster one day. And just honestly, guys, just a really strong card. You can bump down Hegal to play a third copy of it. I prefer this at two. I like it at two because I can still search it out. Next is three, Pulsar Transit Dragon. It's a Jeffrey clone. When you're a grade four greater Vanguard, Soul Charge it at the end of battle, Soul Charge it, draw a card. And if you have a current Jet Vanguard, it's pretty freaking good. Then you play three, Pulsar Revolver Draco Kid. It's the, <laughs> it's Zodiac Time Beast uh, Strider Assist. So basically it's on call, if it's one call from hand, reveal grade three, search your deck up for one Zodiac Time Beast grade three, add it to hand and drop a card from hand. So that's pretty good for Soul Factor Matter is, you can literally reveal an Obstinacy Ox or whatever and get a Crunch of Dragon Z and drop the Obstinacy Ox and you don't have to be scared about not being able to strike because his ability is still alive. And his second ability is when he's in your hand, he gets great plus two. And honestly, God, it's just really good because it's just versatile and this allows you to rush your opponent. Like guys, this deck, if you guys haven't noticed, this deck is for walling up and rushing your opponent to all hell, all living hell. Then, for Arca, guys, Zodiac Time is PG, that searchable is pretty fucking great. So, basic ability is, when it's placed in Guardian Circle, drop a Zodiac Time for hand, it can guard any Zodiac Time Beast rear guard, uh, any Zodiac Time Beast unit. Pretty good. Second ability, that's the one that matters, because it fuels your bind zone. I don't like doing, bi filling my bind zone, but it's necessary now. Act, drop zone, Genesis Break 2, choose a Zodiac Time Beast trigger, and another copy of itself, and bind it. Then you add this back to your hand. Fetchable Perfect Guards. Diggable perfect guard. This card is amazing and no one listened to me before. And now it's sold to all living hell. Now onto our grade zeros. Four, Pulsar, uh, Thruster Bison. Yes, that's a sex joke. Um, so its ability is, it's uh, <laughs> it, it's basically a Margo crit. So soul charge, give you unit plus three. It's good because you get to fill your soul and uh, you know get plus three to and make magic numbers. You play, next you play four of this ugly ass crit. Pulsar Bombard Hog. Its ability is, bind this from rear guard circle. Act, counter charge one, 4K. So more counter charging, I like it. I like counter charging. And fills my binding zone, so G guard's more live. Yay, I like it. Next up, four Pulsar Hypnosis Sheep. Ability is, uh, when you just play some rearguard from hand, let me pay the cost if you do. Uh, uh, this gets gains red text auto. Auto. Uh, when after one of your units finished attacking, if this unit's on board, choose any nor any unit on your board sent to the bottom of the deck and restand a zodiac time beast. Multi attacking, refilling your deck. This is amazing. Amazing. Wow. Then you play four chrono. Chrono chrono medical hamster. Its ability is that basically when you G-Guard, find another copy itself, or find another heal trigger from your drop zone, um, and, it, and this as well, counter charge, soul charge. Or soul charge. So basically, you get to get more counter blocks. Like, guys, gaining counter blocks is very nice in this deck. Like, oh God. Next, we go into our G-Zone. We're going to go into two, Metapulsar, or Avanar Phoenix. All right, guys. When I say rush, you want your opponent to be at three to four damage when you go into this. So you can literally just say, hey man, I'm gonna attack you three times and I'm gonna attack you two more times or one more time, doesn't matter. Cause this thing is ability is auto, counter boss one, choose a face down copy of itself, turn to face up, check top five, search for two zodiac, um, two zodiac times for every face up G, uh, G unit in your uh, G zone and call it and call them. So up to, but you have to reveal it. Remember, it's very important. They can call you on that. I've had that happen, and I got luck. I was able to get that slide. And then second ability, GB3. All your Zodiac Time Beast rear guards get plus two. So multi attacking, uh, gaining bonus magic numbers. This card's honestly one of the stronger cards because it's now a more ideal first on try because you now can not get punished for trying to rush. 
because you kind of replenish yourself or so. If you're not going for the rush plays, then you still go, you still have two Meta Pulsar uh, Split Pegasus because this card is still amazing. Um, its ability is Counterblast, <clears throat> um, Counterblast 1 acts uh, once per turn. Choose one uh, unit on your board since the bottom deck called two Zodiac Time Beasts, grade minus one. <clears throat> and call them the separate rear guard circles. <clears throat> so honest to God, this card is just good for building board oh God, and <laughs> it's good for um, building your board and uh, deck thinning. So honest to God, just really good. And second ability, the key thing about this card is that continuous face up in your G zone, this unit gets, uh, gives all your front board Zodiac Time Beasts plus one. So yeah, power plays and filter, deck filtering, amazing, amazing. <clears throat> Next off, four, Chrono Dragon Gear Next. <clears throat> so its ability is that act once per turn, uh, Jam Trick two, uh, Soul Boss one, uh, I'll flip a copy of itself. Soul Boss, um, this unit gains the red text once per turn. At the end of the battle, this unit attack your vanguard. Um, if your hard card is Gear Dragon, uh, as a Gear Dragon, reveal up to three Zodiac Time Beasts in total from your uh, from your hand and or field. Send this to the bottom of the deck, and then restand this, and it gets Drive minus two. <clears throat> so basically, it's, if you do this before GB uh, four, this unit will <clears throat> swing in, restand, and then it'll get plus, and it'll become a uh, Drive Check with uh, Drive Check one, and this is GB two, so it's very important. And second ability is continuous GB4 during your turn that this unit restands. Uh, during this unit's second battle, this unit gets um, plus 10 and drive track plus one. So basically, uh, when it restands at GB4, you you become a 36k with twin drive. So you're returning cards back to your deck, getting multiple oppressive plays. It's a very strong mid to late game stride. For fact, matters, you can oppress your opponent. It's just really ideal. Next off. We go into. I, ne I know I never play this in my decks because I never actually had to worry, but now. <laughs> one Air Element Seabreeze. <laughs> For its ability is Counter Blast 2. Um, choose a card of your hand, send to the drop zone. You get to stride into this when your opponent hasn't re uh, rewritten a card in their last turn. The reason being I play this now is because before you really couldn't plus off of it, but now you do with Jet Z. So basically you can stride into this, send your opponent's starter back to the deck, and then you get uh, your transits, your cruise, your transits, your cruisings, um, your merry blocks. Uh, I don't I don't know anything really you need to really plus. So honestly God, Seabreeze is actually pretty uh, really one of the strongest Seabreeze plays in this entire game right now. Is with uh, New Jet. I hate this card. I only play it for one reason. One Metal Pulsar Mystery Freeze Dragon. I generally am okay with this card for the sole fact of matters. My opponents always live, but you know what? Whatever. I'm going to explain it in a second. Its ability is Gen Trick 3, act once per turn. Counter Boss 2, shuffle your deck. Reveal the top, four, bind the top four cards of your deck. And for every card revealed, your opponent cannot guard with that grade. And if you reveal the grade 3, this unit gets Drive plus 1. It's only good against. Gs because they remove their entire G zone and they can't G guard against this. So if you bind the grade one and zero, they can't guard with anything besides twos. Or <laughs> chaos, because you know what? They don't like anything negating their block and they have to force out their G guard. So all your other strides become much more deadly because they can't G guard. <laughs> and also fills out your bind zone. So, you know, whatever. It's a really very iffy about this card, but it's just, it's okay. It's okay. Next off, you play one dust. One. Yeah, it's seventy dollars. Um, its ability is ultimate stride. You have to have three face up cards in your G zone. Uh, can't on play some Vanguard, and you have to drop a copy of your Vanguard from your hand. So um, you guy, um, so on play some Vanguard, Counter Blast two. Um, you deal your opponent damage and you reduce your, uh, reduce your opponent's uh, great. Uh, all their units, they're grade by one, and their power becomes one, and they lose all their abilities. So your opponent can't intercept with this. I, your opponent can't use grade twos to intercept. They can't use like their Vanguard, like uh, was it Gabrielle use her abilities or anything like that. They really have to raw dog that fight in order to live against this. Also, dealing your opponent's damage, you know, it's pretty great. 
Oh, and yes, they rotted this so they, you can't auto win against this or whatever. Honestly, go into this because you rush your opponent down and then you have you switch out your grade three. You can set up for your ne uh, the next big card, which is Heritage. I'll explain that in a second. Then you go into this and kill your opponent. You know, that's pretty nice. It's really good. Then you go into this. Chrono Visor Heritage, our time walk. Basically, it's at the end of, end of your turn. Turn four Zodiac Time Beast G units face down. Um, return to the CG zone. Restand everything. Restride. And so basically, you get a time walk. You get a new turn. Apparently, you can draw. I don't know, guys. Let me know. I'm pretty sure you can. You skip the ride phase. You skip the ride phase of, the fin of that turn. However, I believe you still get the draw. Stand and draw. So I'm not too sure. Someone comment down below and correct me. I'm probably wrong about it. But basically, you just get multiple turns. Two turns. And then basically, if you have eight face up G in a CMG zone, you get three turns. Because that's not broken at all. Right, Henry? Yes. Our G zone, our G guard start off with one head around dragon. But the sole fact of the matter is, I don't find head around too valuable anymore. At this point, I'm always in the point where I need to turbo everything else but this. It's not a Zodiac Time Beast, it's good, but also minus me super hard. Its ability is when it's placed in Guardian Circle, you have a Carnage Vanguard, Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's Rearguard Circle, or uh, choose one of your opponent's Rearguard, shuffle back to the deck and like top, uh, top deck the card and call it to Rearguard Circle. They must call. So it stops a big attack, but they can potentially call a bigger attack. So honestly, God, it's really a double edged sword. One. Retroactive Time Maiden Uru, always been there since day one, and she's still one of our best G guards. Gets send back a normal unit and a, and a trigger, gets plus 5k. Yay. You can include the hero trigger that you pitched for the cost. Um, you could still fulfill as much as you can for the cost, however, it won't gain the plus 5k. So you need to send back a trigger and a normal unit in order to get the plus 5k. So returning card to your deck is plus. Then two, Pulsar Saver Elishu. This card is pretty good. Pretty good, unless in the, you don't have cards in your bind zone. So his ability is Soul Blast 1. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, if this, if you have one face of card in your bind zone, this unit gets plus 5. And if you have 5, this gains an additional plus 15. So it gets it gets additional 35k shield. Or this is total 35k shield if you have 5 face of card in your bind zone. That's really strong since it's also a ZTB. Do you know? It's not like I can go first turn. Pegasus or Phoenix and double G guard and then go into our time walks. You know, we like our time walks. So, so honestly, guy, like, it's the deck now is just basically turbo death and it's really strong. I'm gonna briefly go over a couple combos and, like, it's really self explanatory. So, before you want to rush your opponent down from one to three, so you basically use your stride assist. Drop a grade three, get your jet, drop the grade three in order to keep your jet because you could stride anyways. I was supposed to against Narakami, be very careful. So then, honest to God, making magic numbers, your grade ones are really strong because making magic numbers and they could tuck in such for your grade twos anyways. <laughs> then, honest to God, like I explained most of them already, but this deck is very aggressive and very beat downy. So. I highly recommend this build. You guys can change it up however you want to the changes I made. You can change it on uh, what you want further. Um, like, comment, subscribe to the video if you guys want to see more videos like this or any match profiles. And um, uh, also hit that or in deck profiles. You know, we're trying our hardest to put those match profiles up there. But uh, also those bell notifications whenever you want to see any more videos from us. Um, it's very important. Oh God. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, and give me your feedback. I'll listen to it, read it. Please tell me about this visor skill. I'm pretty sure I don't draw for it because it skips the ride phase altogether. But you still get the standard unit, so I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.